What a difference a day can make. It was literally overnight. We got everything ready yesterday and we pulled out at midnight. But for the Fletchers, 24 hours meant the difference between a booming business in martial arts and rising floodwaters just about to start. You can imagine the sun coming up and the whole town's just gone. It was, everything was destroyed. Uh, we just opened our business up, plus moved in here 30 days before this happened. The Fletchers lost their car, Jennifer lost her job, and thousands of dollars worth of equipment in Robert's gym was destroyed. Sent us this stuff, because we lost all of our gloves, all of our headgear. I didn't know if there was going to be anything when we woke up, basically. But that's where Martinsburg residents Carol Welty and Ashley Lint came in to help. To be able to give back to the community, I can't, can't describe it. The two have made trips down to the flood zone six times now, donating more than 100 tons of food, clothing, and cleaning supplies. But this time, eight months after the flood, they loaded up the trailer with something a little bigger. The real reason we can't actually keep that is because we heard it have a car. Uh -huh. So we brought you a car and we have, um, actually get to choose, <laughs> we have this one, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> or this setter right here, oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And it wasn't just this car that was donated. Two of them were donated from 360 pre-owned auto sales and then a friend of ours who has pre-owned car store in Bunker Hill donated one like right at the last minute so we could bring three. Did not know that when we woke up this morning we were going to get a car. <laughs> and they'll be using this car to give back too. We have to rent a car anytime we go anywhere with the kids. This is, this is how we drive. <laughs> now they're in the driver's seat. So happy. I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> but not before getting used to being behind the wheel again. It's just priceless, like the the shock and you know, just no worse. <laughs> For the Fletchers, June 23rd will always be hard to forget. But February 6th is a day to remember. I believe that there are good people in the world and she's definitely one of them. We definitely need more people in the world like that. Reporting in Clendenin. Thank you. Carolyn Blackburn, WHAG News.